everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video hey bookers i wanted to film this video very very quickly because i've been filming other content welcome to 2023 welcome back to another video by me just got leo and i'm glad that we are all here and we've entered into 2023 i am wishing you all the best for 2023 i put out all my well wishes for you guys in my channel changes video and in my yearly reset video so please do watch those videos but this time around we're going to be talking about books honey we are going to talk about books because I need to get these books out of the way. This is going to be my quarterly TBR. And let me tell you, by no means is it exhaustive of all the books that I'm going to read. So quarterly, right? And I am excited. This, These are the books that I'm going to be reading in the next couple of months. And I wanted to share with you guys what some of these books are going to be now. You'll be surprised if you have been following my book videos over last year, over the latter part of last year, you'll know that charity highly influenced me to read fantasy novels. But you'll be surprised that there's no fantasy novels in this selection of books. Am I not going to read fantasy novels in the next few months? Absolutely not. That That's not what it means. It just means these are the books that are on the forefront of what I want to read over the next couple of months. And the reason being is that I just want to get back into literary fiction, into thriller, into horror, into the genres that I love absolutely so, 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 so much. Um, you'll also be surprised that there's no nonfiction in this uh, selection of books, but this TBR is definitely um, subject to change. I might end up just reading something completely different and that's okay too. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the books that I am most excited to read uh, over the next couple of months. So if you're interested in seeing this video, please do like the video, comment in the video at the end of the video. If you don't know what to comment, just put a book there. Put a book. That's all. I know some of you guys are not big on commenting, but you do watch the videos. But I really am relying on you guys this year to comment and to like the videos so that we can grow this platform. Thank you so much for being here. As always, thank you for choosing me over and over again. Let's get started without wasting any more time, sweetheart. And my book goal for this year is 45 books. As you know, last year, the book goal was 35 books and I ended up reading 40 books in 2022. So this year we have moved it up slightly by 10 more books. So we'll make it 45 books for the year. So the first book that I cannot <sighs> wait to read is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Now this is a book, listen, I don't get my book recommendations from TikTok Hun. I don't because I genuinely feel like those TikTok Huns and those TikTok bros that do um, book talk videos, I'm just not sure about their tastes, okay? So I'm somebody who's very big on literary fiction and one of them this is the Women's Prize Fiction for 2020 winner. This is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, as I did say. Do you want to say it any more times, Kato? Maybe? No? No? Okay. Um, and this one is a historical fiction novel where we follow a young um, girl who takes to her bed with a sudden fever. Her twin brother, who is Hamnet, who also happens to be the son of Shakespeare, is who we are following in this book. He goes and he searches for help for her sister, for his sister, my, my apologies. Ooh, it's Lungu, for his sister. Um, their mother Agnes is over a mile away in the garden where she grows medicinal herbs and their father, Shakespeare, is working in London. So this book apparently is written impeccably well. And I'm so, so, so excited to to read it and I am looking forward to reading what Hamnet decides to do or what he ends up doing in the search for finding help for his twin sister. I'm so so excited to read this. I, I believe he's um, he's young. He's probably like anywhere between 12 and 14 when this happens. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. And the next book is a classic 
book. And the reason why is because I've been saying that I want to be a classical girly, okay, in 2023. I want to be a classical girly and I want to be those girls who read classic novels. So this is Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray. I have heard nothing but wonderful things about this classic novel, classical novel, but I don't know what it's about at all. Um, so it essentially says Dorian Gray is having his picture painted by Basil Hollard, who is charmed by his looks. But when Sir Henry Wotton visits and seduces Dorian into the worship of youthful beauty in an, in, with an intoxicating speech, Dorian makes a wish he will live to regret that all the marks of age will be reflected in the portrait rather than on Dorian's own face, which sounds amazing. Very, very tiny writing in this one. So it'll take me a little bit to get through it, but I'm really looking forward to it to just read my first classical novel for the year. And an author that I cannot wait to get into reading her books again is Miss Sylvia moreno Garcia. You guys know that I love Mexican Gothic. If you've been following me for some time now, you know that I'm a big fan of Sylvia, Sylvia moreno Garcia and her, her works, her writing. So this is The Beautiful Ones, which is a historical fiction novel, which follows a group of like a society, wealthy society, of women that are known as the beautiful ones and in this uh, book we follow the story of Nina who has sort of like it's, it's sort of like also a speculative fiction as well because she has a certain power which is telekinesis which is seen in this society as a very erratic and not as great uh, power to have and so we follow her story and what she does and uh, Nina's story and how she uh, gets into a romantic relationship with this new arrival in town by the name of Hector Orve. And she's dazzled by him for he sees her not as a witch because of her telekinesis, but ripe with potential. So I'm really looking forward to reading I mean, it. And I mean, okay, okay. That's, that's literally all I have to say. This cover is everything in a bag of chips. Everything in a bag of chips. And then a book I did start reading but stopped to read Liwa is this short story collection which has the most insane, insane cover page. Look at this. Ah! Uh, this would be such a sick tattoo and I remember sending it to sending a picture of this to one of my friends and saying how cool would this tattoo be. This is a short story collection called The Dangers of Smoking in Bed by Mariana Enriquez. Now I got this recommendation from Mr. Jack Edwards himself. Um, so I love his recommendations here on, um, f on I almost said Facebook, here on YouTube because a lot of the books that he recommends I also end up really enjoying. And this is a short story collection of horror short stories from Buenos Aires, okay? So I'm really um, excited. I'm sorry, I'm recovering from the flu, so my voice tends to come in and out. I'm really excited to read these short stories about family betrayal, morbid diseases, and murderous intentions um, from the streets of Buenos Aires. So I'm really, really excited to read. Ah, I can't wait. I literally got into 18 pages of the first short story and I was just like, what? Wha where? Who? You been where? Where who? Mm, for real. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay, if you know, you know. The next short story collection, because I love short story collections, is Shoko Smile by Choi and Young. I hope I'm saying that. Uh, correctly but this is a short story collection from an author from Korea who explores the which explores the joys and heartbreaks of human relationships as they blossom and wither now for me with short story collections that's pretty much all I want to know give me an overview of what this book is going to be about don't tell me what's happening in each story I don't want to know I just want to know what I'm to expect as with this one this one I I know it's horror short story um, uh, pieces and this one I know it's 
it explores the joys and heartbreaks of human relationships as they blossom and wither. I'm so sorry. As they blossom and wither. And I'm looking forward to reading this one as well. I'm so excited. I think I get very, very excited over short story collections as opposed to novels. I think I get even more excited for that as opposed to full novels. Yes. The next book is uh, Sundial by Katriana Ward or Katrina. Some people say Katrina, but I think it's Katriana Ward. I could be wrong. But in this novel, this is a thriller novel that is set in Sundial and we follow a lady by the name of Rob who is watching her teenage daughter start to do quite like st like really crazy stuff okay shady stuff where she collects tiny bones and whispers to imaginary friends and this for rob causes a little bit of concern because her teenage daughter is growing up reminding her much like herself when she was growing up and the things that she started doing at around that age and because she has concern for her teenage daughter she decides to take her daughter kelly and goes back to Sundial where Rob grew up so that she can show her her um, childhood and once they get there, there she will have to make a really, really terrible choice. Kelly, on the other hand, is afraid for her mother. Rob has begun to look at her strangely to tell her secrets about her past that both disturb and excite her. So I'm assuming that this book is also in a dual time span where we follow from Rob's perspective and we follow from uh, Kelly's perspective as well. So I'm really, really excited for this. I've heard nothing but good things about this um, novel. And then the last three books of which, the one book I do not have because my friend took it from me over, I had it and she took it from me over the December period. So the, I'll need to pick up a, a fresh copy of it um, and I'll put it here. It's An Angel's Demise by Sunyati. I have spoken about this book in previous videos and in previous book videos. So please check those ones out if you want to know what that one is about. The next book that I'm going to read or look forward to reading is In the Midst of It All by Tabi Shange. In this one, we follow a young woman by the name of Nadine Numalo who enters into a relationship with a Nigerian lover by the name of Femi Adi Adewoye. And as the relationship progresses, and this is a romance novel, but of course it's got um, just other aspects to the novel as well. As the relationship progresses, Tandi realizes that Ubabungumalo, her father, doesn't quite approve of Femi purely because he is Nigerian. And not only is she going to be struggling with that throughout this novel, but there are also the struggles of the xenophobic attacks that happen in their area at that time. Um, and it affects their relationship as well. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well as somebody who lives in South Africa where xenophobic attacks have been, sweetie, xenophobic attacks, okay, are not strange to us and to this country. I'm really intrigued to know what this book is going to be about, what it's going to say. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard nothing but great things as well about this novel here. Last but not least is a romance novel. I think these are the only two romance novels I've got here. I think so, yeah and maybe the beautiful ones. Last but not least is, this is an ARC copy because the original copy actually, well, the, um, the, the copy that's in the stores right now looks like this. I'll put a picture of it here. So this is an ARC copy that I received from Jonathan Ball Publishers. And this is Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. As you know, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know very much so how much I loved, loved Love and Color. I'm actually looking at it right now on my shelves over there. I loved it so, so much that I had to pick this one up and I've heard nothing but good things about this. In this book, we follow Kiki and Malachi. And Kiki and Malachi are, I believe, I don't know if this would be classified as young adult because they are in university, but but it says that Kiki is the host of a popular student show, Brown Sugar, and has a fierce inspiration to her and, and 
is a fierce inspiration to her fellow students who make up the Afro-Caribbean Society of White Walled University. She's categorically not the dating type. But when she meets Malachi, her defenses are weakened and her heart is compromised. A clash embroils them in a fake relationship. Aha, it's a romance novel with a fake relationship dating trope to salvage both their reputation and save their futures. And she soon finds herself in the danger of falling for the very waste man she warned her girls about. This sounds so extraordinary. Yes, yes. I mean, I'd love to read another romance novel, okay? And I've heard from many people that this is a great, great novel, especially from Lala, from Lala, Kayla, from uh, Lala and the Books. And uh, she really loved this one. Again, another creator that I trust so much when it comes to books and book recommendations because we pretty much read very similar things. So, yeah. Those are the books that I am planning to read in the first quarter of the year, but it is subject to change. I could include some other books in this. I could not read any of these books, but I wanted to watch this video back and see what of the books that I mentioned in the beginning of the year the, uh, did I actually read at the end of the year? So yeah, I'd love to know what you guys are going to be reading for the first quarter of the year. So, so excited to hear about that. Okay, sisters. Um, I'm not going to be having a book club this year because I've got so many other things that I need to focus on. And unfortunately, having the book club it's just going to take up too much of my time um, and I just want to read at my own leisure and my own pace and not feel a commitment to reading because I've got so many other things that I need to commit to this year. So that is what I'm going to be reading. That is my to be read list for the first quarter of 2023. I'd love to know what you're going to be reading. What are you looking forward to reading? Do you have any goals to read? Are you a reader? Are you not a reader? Have you been watching my reading content um, videos over the last year or so and now you want to get into reading? I'd love to know. I read all of your comments. I read all of them. I might not be able to respond to everything, but I read all of them and I'd love to know if you're looking to getting into reading what you're most excited to read first in 2023 so thank you so much for being here guys as always thank you very very much for choosing me over and over and over and over and over and over again so I'll see you guys in the next video until then take care keep well and I'll see you soon bye